places, everyone. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. I'm a savage. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Acting silly, really, what's happening? I'm a bitch, what's happening, bitch? What's happening? I'm in the club, shaking my dreads. The only pose to bust these ass. This is irrelevant. Stop on my wrist. It's best to make go by two people there. Let me catch my breath because I'm like completely winded from doing them little 10 steps. Welcome on back guys. It's your favorite around the way girl, Naturally Candice. And finally, I am back with another lock video. The last time I did a lock video was my failed um, retwist without clips video. And I believe I was coming up on eight months. I am officially 10 months locked and a lot has changed. I have a new product that I'm using and I have some serious issues going on with my locks and I'm hoping that they aren't ruined, but we will get into that later in the video. If you are new here and this is your first time watching one of my lock videos, I am Candice and I locked May of last year. So I am coming up on my one year lock anniversary. I have type four hair and I have 108 locks yeah and I started with the two strand twist method and I did them myself I did my own parts and my own install so welcome and don't for click <laughs> don't for click <laughs> don't for click <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new here but I was gonna say I don't want to make it a long video but we like quarantine and on lockdown so really you ain't got nothing to do so really I can make it a long video but I know y'all don't really care that much so let's just get right into the video <laughs> first things first let's just get into my hair yesterday was wash day so I do have a fresh retwist and like I said I have been using a new product we'll get into the product in a second but I just want to give you guys a good look at a good look at my hair it is growing and flourishing so beautiful the back of my hair is completely giving locks the front still give a little two strand twist but just want to show you guys what it's looking like freshly retwisted now i am going to insert some clips from yesterday when i did do wash day my hair was struggling like bad I really needed to wash my hair, but I couldn't find my shampoo. I couldn't find my Dr. Bronner's like anywhere in store. So I ended up ordering it, finally getting some. But before I did the Dr. Bronner's, I found this Cantu. It's like an apple cider root relief. And it's kind of like, you know, a shampoo without needing the water. So I tried this product last week on my hair and my hair was extremely dirty, like it needed to be washed, but the product made my hair super like greasy and heavy. I don't know if I used too much of the product or if my hair actually needed to be rinsed out after using the product, but I will say my scalp felt really, really good. Like I could feel the product working. It was like a little tingle to it. So maybe I'm gonna revisit that product again if when if and when my hair isn't like super dirty but my hair needed to be washed like you guys can see it needed to be washed it was completely dirty alrighty so I used my Dr. Bronner's to wash my hair still I haven't astrayed from the Dr. Bronner's that's always going to be my go-to shampoo I really like the clean feeling that I get on my locks with the Dr. Bronner's so definitely gonna be still sticking with the Dr. Bronner's but you guys can see it in my hand the new product that I have you guys know I've been pretty simple my whole lock journey Dr. Bronner's and my handmade oil mixture I really like the oil mixture because I didn't want to like overdo products on my locks when it came to retwisting I wanted to keep it as simple as possible but I'm telling you guys this new product that I used it is definitely going to be a lock essential this is going to be my new twisting butter oil cream so the new product that has officially been added into my wash day routine, it is an essential. It is a Jamaican black castor oil. It is a wild growth hair butter. Can you guys see? 
The company that it is by is the Black Flower Co. And she's actually a black woman. She hand makes all of her products and she is the truth. She, her name is Jasmine. I'm gonna tell you guys that, but Jasmine is absolutely amazing. Her company is amazing. Her products are freaking amazing. This butter is everything. I've been using it on my locks. I use it on Caleb's hair. I use it on AJ's hair and I use it on the boy's hair. It is really, really, really good. And it has a very, very nice smell. It's not like overpowering. It's not like a perfume, fruity, like I'm not into those super scents, but I really, really love this and it smells amazing. It is a whip butter. And when I'm doing my locks or retwisting my hair, I just take the product, warm it up in my hand so it kind of melts away. I section off the lock, I add it to my scalp and to the new growth, and then I just twist my hair like normal. This is why I have such a good shine going on to my locks, y'all. This product is bomb. I can't rave about it enough. <laughs> If you want to try this product or if you're interested in any of her other products, she has like CBD cream, uh, bath bombs, body butters, all kinds of stuff, elderberry. I will, of course, leave the direct link to her website in the description bar and I can save you a little money using my discount code can 15 i'll leave it in the description box for you but i'm definitely recommending this you guys got to try this out like it's not just only for locks you can use it on your hair on your kids hair i'm standing by this you got my work like i'm standing by this like when you get it i'm, I'm gonna stand by this product all right so we did the good stuff we did how good my hair looks we did the new product that i'm in love with now let's get into some real stuff. I got two issues going on with my locks that I gotta update you guys on. The second one, I'm actually really concerned about. The first one, not so much, cause I already know what I need to do. But the first issue is the residue, the buildup that's going on on some of my locks is like, I just can't take it. It's gross to me. Like, especially after wash day, that's when I really, really can see it. Like I just freshly washed my hair and I'm seeing like dirt and build up and I'm like, bruh, what's going on? Anyways, I mean, you can't really see it right now, but when I'm doing my hair, you definitely can see it. Like you guys can see in the clip, it's, I know what I need to do. I thought that I was being proactive by only using two products. I use the Dr. Bronner's and I use my oil. Now I'm using the butter, but I try to keep it very simple. So I thought that I was being proactive by not creating a bunch of buildup and residue in my hair. Obviously this is just something that comes along with having locks. So it's definitely time for me to do a detox or an apple cider vinegar rinse. I really kind of want it to stretch it until my one year anniversary, but I'm not going to be able to wait. Next wash day, I'm definitely going to do it. Um, I've watched a few videos, so I kind of know what I need to do, but if you guys have personally done it, please leave me comments on tips, what products you use, what pool you ordered. I know you can order like a little inflatable pool off of Amazon where you can lay back and kind of dip your head and let it sit. So let me know if you ordered a pool, if so, what brand. Um, yeah, definitely tips or tricks is gonna be my first time, and I really wanna do a good job because I want that build up gone. Like, just why like I thought I was doing a good job now the second issue that I'm having I really don't know what I'm going to do about it and one thing I do know I'm not going to be interlocking my hair anymore I know I told you guys that AJ interlocked my hair for me a couple of months ago and then recently he did it about three weeks ago and that's when I really started to notice I don't know if it's because we weren't like properly using a crochet needle or the interlocking tool. He was just taking my hair and just kind of looping it through. So it has created these spaces in some of my locks. Not all of them. It's literally like maybe four or five of them. But the ones that it is, it's kind of alarming to me. I'm trying to find it now, but I'm showing you guys on the clip. You can see like it's separated 
but once I twist it, you can't really tell, but once it starts to unravel, you can tell. So it's like creating a space of two locks at the root and then the locked root is hanging. So it's like two pieces and then one. The, the piece where it's split for two, it's so small, but it's still like, okay, did I just split my lock? Do I need to cut it in half to try to separate it into two locks? Is it gonna be able to just combine itself if I just go back to palm rolling? I don't really know. I haven't watched any videos on YouTube about it. I wanted to see what you guys thought first because I really feel like I'm going to have to cut it in half and make it two just so it can separate at the root. I don't know. But I'm not going to be interlocking anymore. I'm going back to strictly palm rolling. I did like interlocking because I could go for a long time without doing a retwist. But maybe if i got it professionally done or maybe if i ordered the tool then i would revisit it but as of right now i don't like that it did that to some of the locks so yeah not doing it anymore strictly going back to palm so if you guys have any ideas on what i can do tips or tricks um what did i do wrong comment box please and don't be getting all sassy with me because i don't like that just help me out in a nice way so I think that's it for my lock update. New product, residue, interlocking. That's pretty much it. Um, I showed you guys what my locks are looking like. The back of my hair definitely giving lock vibes. The front of it, not so much giving two strand twist, but hopefully we'll get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all safe during quarantine and lockdown. I am currently on lockdown. My kids are out of school pretty much for the rest of the year. So I'm barely hanging on by a thread. <laughs> oh, but seriously, we're doing good. I hope that you guys are doing good. Thank you so much for the continued support for watching this video. I promise that I'm going to do a video on the detox and the apple cider vinegar rinse when I do it to my locks. Um, please leave me tips and comments because I do got some stuff going on and your girl do need a little help. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am way more active on Instagram than I am on YouTube. I try to be active on YouTube. I just be sidetracked. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on in the world. Y'all know. Y'all know. I'll be on my mom vibe. Y'all know. But um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, naturally underscore Candace. And I'm on Facebook, but not like really. Like everything I post on Instagram goes to Facebook. So it doesn't matter. But don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Until our next video, thank you guys so much for walking. Walking. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all stay safe. Corona!